Happy the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Colorado Rockies and the San Diego Padres. Coming to the plate now, Rymel Tapia. He will lead this one off today. And a little off to begin the afternoon as it's to three and one now. Slap hard the opposite way. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Batting second, the first baseman, number nine, Daniel Murphy. Stepping in now, Daniel Murphy. Up high, two and one now. Two one. Runner goes for second. All even now, two and two. Two balls and two strikes to Murphy now. Oh, he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent that with third. that last pitch. The third base there. Striding in for the Rockies, right. Nolan Arenado. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Got him reaching there, strike two. High in the air out to center field. Lagares is there, and he has it for the first out. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman. He's been productive at the plate in the series with six hits coming into this one. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Good time to try to put the ball down in the strike zone. You can either get a strikeout or a potential double play ball. And indeed, he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score. In now for Colorado, David Dahl and the Rockies trying to hang even more damage on the scoreboard in the opening frame. Here's the 2-1. Oh. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. And this is foul tip, so that runs the count full now at three and two. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two, but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. On to the party porch and gone. Yeah, you never want to give up anything in the first inning, but to go down 3-0, it's just painful. Can't afford any more early mistakes, or the hole's going to be too deep to climb out of. At the plate now, Trevor Story. Now this one's crushed. Left field line, and it's out of here. Back-to-back, -back, two out home runs. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. Standing in now, Garrett Hampson. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right. And that'll move the count to one and two now. To two, two balls and two, two strikes now. He stays alive, still two and two. Now the pitch. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats in this one. They're not making any outs easy to get, and that, of course, is having a huge impact on the pitch count. The catcher, number three. Now to the plate, Dom Nunez. Nunez. 
Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. Andres Munoz comes on to work much earlier than anticipated, obviously, as he'll try and right the ship in the very first inning. In now, Kyle Freeland. And that misses two and one. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. From the stretch. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he lays off here. It's ball four. Man, that is really cause for concern as he's just walked the opposing pitcher. Better fielder, Limo Tapia. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Ligares is under it, and that's the third out. Into the box now, one Ligares. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. I got to count two and two. Here we go. Three balls, two strikes. Will Myers will be next. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Another full count pitch home. Grounded to the right. He's got it. And there's one down now. Digging in now for San Diego. Will Myers. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. The count. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Tapia's in pursuit. He makes the running play. Two down. Next to the plate for the Padres, Tommy Pham. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. 1-1. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Riding in, Daniel Murphy. He drew a walk his first time up. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing. Meanwhile, now, this is a drive out to straightaway right field, and it's going to get out of here. A home run. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in the game. Into the box, Nolan Arenado. Two balls, two strikes to Nolan Arenado. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Full count now, three and two. Base is empty here with nobody out. Fouled off. The next three, two. 
And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now so the base is empty here field. with one away. And that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. Blackman. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Digging in, David Dahl. Now and back. remember, he Left hit that two run homer his first time up. Dahl. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it, that's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And in to hit next, shortstop Trevor Story. Now a drive out to left center field. And this will kick off the base of the wall. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. The batter, number one. To the plate now, Garrett Hampson. A ball and two strikes. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Fernando Tatis Jr. as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Full count. full count now three and two. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. And in steps Manny Machado. He drove in two of his club's three runs in last night's affair. He's fallen behind now, three and one. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Here's Brian Dozier now. Comes into this one with just one hit in nine tries for the series. And two and two. Two out, nobody on. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Standing in, Dom Nunez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Dom Nunez has retired to start the third. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Popped up. Machado is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. So the Rockies lineup turns over and to the plate. Rymel Tapia, a hit in two tries so far. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And that's a fair ball. Line to the right side. And this will bang up against the wall. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Now that the first base, Daniel Murphy. At the plate, Daniel Murphy called strike, and he's behind one and two. In his career, 
Murphy possesses a slugging percentage above the 450 mark, so he's capable of running into one here. Dozier fields it cleanly, and nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Bottom of the third now, now batting Josh Naylor. One one. Hey. That's the ball. I got to count two and two. Here you go, here you go. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Tapia. He's got it one away. One out now in the San Diego third, and that'll bring in the catcher, Francisco Mejia. One out, nobody on. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. It's a two and two count to the Padres catcher. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Blackman will put this one away, and that's out number two. Standing in, Andres Munoz. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Down low, two balls and a strike. Padre still with the big goose egg in the hit column thus far. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. And it's fouled away. Here we go. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. The 1-1 home. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The 1-2. Seared down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And in to bat next, the big time RBI man, Charlie Blackman. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's 3 and 1. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And there's a base hit on the line. Running hard. He's digging for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. So now to the plate, David Dahl. Two and one to David Dahl. Three and one to the Rockies left fielder. The three one is swung on and missed and that's a full count now three balls and two strikes. It's funny that pitch I can picture being in the box that pitch looks so good to hit. And why does no one ever get to it. A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. Trevor. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Oh, and this goes right past him. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. At the plate now, Garrett Hampson. 
Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Dozier takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Now in the box, Dom Nunez. A hit and two tries for him so far. The 1-1 home. And oh, this one's by him to the backstop. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Here's the game within the game. You have a better matchup on deck. You got a 3-1 count in this situation. Don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up a former gold glover. Here's Juan Lagares. The one two is looked at for ball number two. On the ground up the middle, Scorey picks it up, and an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Here's Will Myers. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And that's into the corner. A foul ball in right. The 1 and 2 pitch. No runs, no hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Padres. in the air out to straightaway left. Dahl is over just a few steps to his right as he takes it for route number two. So two are gone in the Padre fourth. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. Lifted in the air toward the line in right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Hit out towards second. And the Friars are into the hit column. Now batting. Number 23. Standing in now, Fernando Tatis Jr. One ball. A ball and two, two strikes. strikes now. Drilled on the ground to short. Story brings it in. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Luis Perdomo gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Kyle Freeland, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Now the one and one pitch. Yeah. I got to count two and two. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. And he misses with it. Ball four. And a terrible start to the inning as he's walked the pitcher leading things off. The 1-1 one -one is taken for ball two. His lifetime numbers with Luis Perdomo. He's two for three. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. In now, Daniel Murphy. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. One there. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. Here's Nolan Arenado. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The 2-2. Two -two. 
This is hit pretty well out to left field. Left fielder looking up. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Into the box, Charlie Blackman. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Now this is swung on and hit down to Machado at third. Reined in. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. Now back. At the plate, David Dahl. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for. Oh, hang on now. This ball is smoked to right, and I don't think this one's coming back. No chance. It's gone. Matt Strong gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Stepping in now, Trevor Story. Three and two now. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep, too. The next three, two. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Bottom of the inning now at the plate, Manny Machado. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Three and one. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Into the box now, Brian Dozier. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the set bat. The one-two. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. In time as he just gets the tag down. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Skied into straightaway right. Blackman is under it. Two down. At the plate, Josh Naylor flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Digging in now, Garrett Hampson. He flew out in his last at bat. One and two now as this catches the outer half. And he missed with it up and in to even things at two and two. And now a pitch on the way. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Digging in once again Dom Nunez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here it comes on one and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. The pitcher, number 21. Into the box now is the Colorado pitcher, Kyle Freeland. 
He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Ball taken there, two and one now. To two and two now. Two strikes. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Digging in the switch hitter, Francisco Mejia. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the six. Jurickson Profar will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Mejia on at first, nobody out. This has popped up. And no one will get this one. Still one and two. Has a look. Now the pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. The second for one. And that didn't work out too well as the pinch hitter comes on to bounce into a double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Juan Ligares. Two and one to Juan Ligares. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup and try and get on. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Drew Pomerantz comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Seventh inning ready to roll. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Rymel Tapia, he steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. Just hung in there on that one. Pomerantz has racked up over 800 innings in his big league career. And over those innings, he's worked to a whip of just a little over 1.3. So he's a reliable arm in terms of limiting traffic on the base paths. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. The first baseman, number nine, Daniel Murphy. At the plate now, Daniel Murphy. Swing and a liner. Foul. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. He loses him on ball four. Ready to take his hacks again. Nolan Arenado. As he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The one two and another foul ball not surprised he's laid on a heater right there just saw an off speed pitch wanted to stay back a little bit too long lofted in the air out toward right center Myers is under it and that's the first out of the inning so next it'll be the number four batter now for the Rockies right Charlie field. Blackman he's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Good break on the knuckle curve, but he missed with it. Two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Strike two called, and it's even at two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Trying to pick things up where we left off. David Dahl, two home runs in two at-bats so far and looking to add to that here. 
Yeah, now this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. The 2 1 home. Ball three. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. And it's up to a three two full count now. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. One and one, here it comes. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. He's set, and the 2-2 pitch. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners, and the side is retired. In now, Will Myers. No hits to this point. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. A bouncer to the left side. And the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here. It's an infield single. So now to the plate, Tommy Pham. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Scorey scoops it up to second for one. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. No runs, two hits, no errors in the ball game for the Padres. Two and one. Line drive to left. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. He'll start us off in the eighth. 3-2 pitch. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Ready for another shot now, Dom Nunez. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the, the ball starts jumping out 21. like this, it's clear Kyle. that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch hey. on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. The one-two. At the ball. 2-2 two, two the count. Come on! Now a throw over. And he'll get back in standing. Runners on first with one down. Strike. Lifted the other way to left center. Pham is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. At the plate, Rymel Tapia. Four hits already in this one, and looking for number five here. Tapia. Heading out towards shallow right. Coming in is Myers. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. of 
Inventing number eight set to go. Digging in to try it again. Manny Machado. It was a walk in his last trip. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle. It's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Wade Davis will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Brian Dozier will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Fastball is looked at for strike two. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. That's off the end of the bat foul and he might have been fortunate to stay alive that time. Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. Ready once again, Josh Naylor, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Naylor. The 1 2. Gets him looking, strike 3. Stepping into the box, Francisco Mejia. It was a walk in his last trip. Mejia. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. After it is Blackman. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. Here's Daniel Murphy now. Now the one and one pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. And this will make its way into center field for a base hit and the leadoff man's aboard now to open the ninth. Now that the third base Nolan. Into the box now. Nolan Arenado. Three and one now. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's a special. Now the three and two pitch. Line drive to left. Pham is there and he makes the catch for the out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Charlie Blackman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now, now with only one away. David Dahl. David Dahl Your to the plate please. now. He went deep he back in the fifth. For San Diego. Now pitching and batting in the eighth. Number 34, Craig Stanley. Now, now the 2 1 pitch. Nine. Takes a pass Number and misses. Eight. That's strike two. Austin. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is. Probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Slow roller down the third baseline. Fielded cleanly. Dozier on to first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. So stepping in, Trevor Story. And they're runners at the corners now. Two one pitches, a sinker swung on and missed two and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Striding into the box, Austin Hedges. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 1-1. One, one. Here we go. Hey. One ball, two strikes, the count. Come by, Dre. Let's go. Here we go. And it'll lay off two, the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Now batting. So the lineup flips over and digging in Juan Ligares. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. 
liner towards second. But there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. The right fielder. Coming to the plate now, Will yeah. Myers. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. San Diego down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, the tone was set for this game from the very first inning. They came out absolutely banging the ball around and took that great start to another notch in the win column. 11-0, the final shutout total in this one. The Colorado Rockies sent five balls over the wall to come out on top in this one. Kyle Freeland earns his first win of the season as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Garrett Richards couldn't get out of the first in this one as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for the ball game this afternoon for the victorious Rockies, 11 runs, 15 hits, no errors, they left 13 men on base. For the Padres, no 